Here's the long-awaited Sword Kenworth T800 with the flip axle. This is the the white tractor with the white low boy. And uh, there, there was a lot of controversy over this low boy with the grill. I honestly think the grill is fine. But after reviewing a picture of Ness Rama's T800, their tractor, it's also a wide grill. I personally think the, the grill comes down it, the slope on it's too much and uh, it, it's just too short in the front but that that's just my two cents don't know what's right it's probably it probably is right being a uh, sword model but that's just my two cents about it and uh, let's get to the review uh, this hook right here that I just took off, that's optional, and it does open, which is really, really, really nice. Uh, if I ever, if, see, this model is a customer's of mine, which I have to uh, do a little work on, but if I ever do get one, I'd probably just put a little bit of glue on the end, and then push it in there, so it would stay in. But I really like that feature. That would be really good for, uh, say, pulling a beam trailer. If you have to, out from underneath the machine. But uh, let's get to it. The white, I, the white's not bad. I like the white trailer better than the white tractor. Uh, one thing I really like about this tractor is the light bar on the roof that is something I really like it's it's I guess because you know the heavy haulage with the low boy and uh, that's something I really like the, the light bar up there uh, the mirrors are are also good they I don't know if uh, I'm not really that familiar with trucks but uh Here's the mirrors. If I had the camcorder, I could have got a real nice view of them. But there's a hole right there, there's a hole right there, and then there's one right there. So, uh, like the uh, 379 Sword tractor, uh, the mirrors fall off, uh, you know, they will fall off. This is real nice because they don't fall off. They're clipped in there real well. Uh, the doors open. On this tractor, that'd be the flip over there if you can see. But we'll get to that. Um, the doors do open, but they, you know, they're a little. And to reveal the inside detail, which is nice. There yeah, you can see it right there. Doors open on both sides. Now we'll open up the hood, and it, it's real nice in there. There you could uh there's the grill. Pro etch or photo etch or whatever. Now it's a lot easier to criticize a model than to make one. But I I think the real one does have T eight hundred on it. I'm just saying. I being able to put them on or something, but otherwise that is really nice. Uh, there's the headache rack. It has chains on it. And uh, I don't know if you can tell. There is the, uh, yeah, there it is. You can't see the glare. The window. Now, the model does require some assembly when you buy it. It's really nothing major. Just really put those in. And the uh, mud flaps. But I'm not taking those out. It's a nice and long tractor. It'd be nice to put a sleeper cab on this, actually. I'm not, like I said, I'm not familiar with the trucks. Not sure if there would really be one with a sleeper cab. Now, uh, the fifth wheel is adjustable. So, yeah, I always keep it back here. And uh, I believe this is a drop axle. I'm not sure. But uh, positive that's uh, a drop axle. And uh, you got your tank, 
battery cover for the steps. Um, it's it does come in many colors, you know, all the decent colors. And uh, what is this? A battery cover. That's under there. That that's another uh, thing you have to assemble. All right. Now we'll hook up the low boy, and we'll get to the low boy. Uh, this model is really really nice now uh, see well then again if you bring it back now nah, you still have to stretch the lines you have to stretch the lines to put them in there nothing major alright here's the low boy this is uh, I believe it's the same thing as the 55 ton Talbert if anyone has that that came with the 379 and then they added the flip axle so uh, I really like the flip axle. I'm, I don't like it down. I'm more, of a f I'm more of a fan of it up than I am of it down. The suspension is nice on this as well. So we got the gooseneck. The gooseneck's nice. I'm more f like I'm always gonna say I'm more fan of the tractor, no, not of of the trailer than the tractor. That you, you know, you just wiggle it off. Um, let's see. Ah, here's another good feature. The cylinders move, and it will stay up like that. That is very cool. But here's the way in which it clips in, right there. That's very cool. Alright, here are your ramps. The ramps are very cool. I really like the ramps. Uh, you just pull them up. And you also have your lines to attach to your gooseneck, which is real nice. I mean, the, the detail on this is really something to talk about. Uh, we'll get to the gooseneck. The gooseneck is also real nice. Uh, there's your lever, I guess, to uh, up down. Oh, right there it is. To uh, move your, you know, lift the trail off the ground, the correct height. Um, here's your right side. It says Rogers has all the markings. The, the details are real nice. You have your outriggers. Those come out, but to put the uh, the wood on the side is just a pain. So we're not going to do that in here. Uh, we'll set the tractor aside, and now we'll really get to the trailer. We'll clip this back in. And that's in. Also stays in position, which is nice. Here's the top of the deck. Now, th this can, it pops off in case you want to put, I guess, real wood to make it look more realistic. And uh, here's the flip axle. It very easily flips, and if you look right there, you can pin it down. There, the. Uh, there, that's an eye right there, and then you slide the pin through. If anyone gets this model, it has the pin in it when you first get it, so don't try to flip it, and if it doesn't come up, you have to slide the pin out. And, uh, I don't know if anyone remembered my very old video that I put on last year. Uh, I flipped one of these last year, and uh, I guess I'm flipping it again, and it's it's pretty much the same concept. So, it it's very easy to flip. Bring it down. I'm a real big fan of it up. And of it down. So there it's down. 
and I believe those screws right there you you unscrew them you bring it up and then I don't know if you could see those little black pieces you pull them up and you put them over and then you screw it down and it'll lift your axle up so it looks like it's in transport because uh, when you put the weight on it it brings the axles down because the back ones always off the ground when there's not a load and uh, actually I, I just seen Murano's or Marino's they had a 55 ton with a with a pin on axle and uh, I have a picture and I have a video I'll get it up soon uh, the last axle was off the ground it hit a bump and uh, I guess you know when it hits a bump it jerks back down and the whole thing just it didn't destroy it, but there was a whole bunch of smoke and stuff, so I'll, I'll get that video up soon. If anyone would like to see that. Uh, so we'll put it down again, and now we'll flip the... I'll flip it over. We'll look at the underside. There are your hooks to keep everything on. Now it is kind of hard to review a white model on something white like this. But it's it's a different shade of white, so we're fine. This doesn't have too much detail underneath. But if it if the real machine doesn't have it, then the model's not gonna have it. So you can't have anything under there. But you have all your air chambers, your lines run into your air chambers. Those are kinda dirty. Alright, free rolling wheels on the tractor and the trailer. But uh it has your springs for your suspension. And uh, right there would be where you slide your pin through to keep the axle held down. Uh, so there's, there's not much more to say about this model, but uh, I will clip it back on and we'll put something on. Now, a lot of people, there has been a lot of peep talk about the fourth, with the fork, with the fourth axle, it has more capacity. It, I, I spoke to many people, you know him on here, little, little Danny, he's a good friend of mine. I spoke to him about that, and it is more to dissipate the weight than, uh, like a friend of mine was saying, you know, he's going to put a 365 on this, not sure if he could hold it, because it's not really to hold more. It's to dissipate the weight more throughout the axles. So, uh, I guess, I don't know. But we'll put a load on it, 963. Looks real nice with the load. But I uh, hope all you enjoyed that video. Uh, and there it is. Many of you have been waiting. I'm probably going to buy the Mac Granite and the Peterbilt 335 service truck in Kokosings or the Manitowoc one. But I have a lot of other stuff to pay for before that. So there it is. Many of you wanted a review of it, so there it is. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything else you're looking for, just let me know. I have a bunch of other stuff to get reviews up for. So, uh, these videos are long, so they take a while to upload. But, besides the fact, I uh, hope many of you like that. And, uh, I'll be putting some more up. And also, these lines attach in there like that. Uh, you get the point. Alright, see you next time.